Hey buddies, Sunnut Sky here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are going to teach you all about quests and their rewards hats. I have this fancy color changing gamer cap from completing a quest, and you can have one too, or various other things, including, but not limited to, the Ender Dragon skull, or perhaps a rock in your eyeball. I actually quite like the Ender Dragon skull, I think it's quite cool. Oh, which I, you can actually drop these as well and lose them, so try to avoid doing that. Anyway, cool. So you got you got quests and you got hats. They're pretty nifty, they're pretty cool. So first things first, quests can be found here in the top left of your standard inventory. You can turn the notifications here on the right. You can choose yourself a theme here. I go for the Arl Purplicious. I also quite like the Ender, but Arl Purplicious is the one for me. You can make a party. Now this is quite an interesting feature. If you make a party, you can leave party. If, uh, so this is what it looks like. If you're not in a party, you can create a new party. You can invite people to that party. And anyone that's in a party with you, if they complete a quest, you will also complete that quest. Um, so it's pretty cool allowing you to, you know, help each other to complete quests and accrue hats faster. All of the quests can be viewed from the quests tab here. All of the quests are broken down into individual sections for individual categories. Uh, and uh, I think green is complete but doesn't provide a hat. Blue is complete and provides a hat that hasn't been collected yet. Now instead of going through all the blue ones, the blue flashing ones and collecting them individually as there are quite a few once you've completed a bunch of these quests, you can just claim all with this button here, which uh, I've just done. And uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of random different hats now. Now we can store these hats. We don't have to keep them in our, you know, overflowing our storage chest. We can store these hats in the hat storage. There's this little witch hat icon, this little black icon, whatever this this is, will open up the storage. And then you can just move all of these things in there. And uh, and you can keep all those there. Happy days. I actually really like this one. <laughs> you got a little sheep with a purple face on your head. Um, yeah, man. Quests and hats. It's really simple. Um, and I think it's a really cool addition to RL Craft because it gives you... You know, uh, an additional objective, once you've maybe completed the endgame bosses, you've completed the Lost Cities, you've completed, you know, pretty much everything, you can go out and the completionists in you can go out and, uh, you know, get all the different hasts, complete all the different quests. It just gives a nice little additional endgame objective, which I think is really, really nice. Plus, the hats are quite fun. If you're playing on a server, you can, you know, show off your personality, show off your style with some random hats. I know a lot of the guys on my server have been really enjoying uh, the different hats that there are. Um, there's some really goofy, funny ones. Literally, some are like as big as the character. It's hilarious. Um, I mentioned my server. I do run an RLCraft 2.9 server. You guys would be welcome to join. And there's, you know, I've got to earn 3,000 channel points on the Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. Earn the channel points, redeem the whitelist of the channel point redemptions, and you'll be able to join us. Uh, alrighty, man. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. And uh, I did my outro in a backwards fashion. It feels kind of weird, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.